welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. You have a fantastic air fryer video coming your way. I have two, yes, two delicious air fryer recipes. We're leaning towards the Chinese fake outside and a little bit of Mexican fajita flair on the other side. I have both a pork recipe and a chicken recipe. So if you wanna see the two absolutely amazing recipes that I have in store for you, just stay tuned. For tonight's air fryer dinner, I am making chicken fajita roll-ups but I am also making roasted potatoes. So first let me show you what is going to be in the chicken fajita roll-ups, and then I will show you what is going to be in our roasted potatoes. For the roll-ups, you'll need some nonstick cooking spray, salt and pepper, some bell peppers, I'm gonna do red and yellow, and a red onion, of course some chicken breast, garlic powder, oregano, cumin, paprika, and then you'll need some toothpicks to seal closed the roll-ups. And then for the potatoes, I'm going to be using these Private Selection Petite Red Potatoes. These are just those really small potatoes. I love these to roast up in the air fryer. And I'm going to be seasoning them with Dax Steakhouse Seasoning. If you follow my channel, you know I am a huge Dax fan. I really like their seasonings because they are all natural. They have no MSG and they also have no salt. So they are a fantastic option before weigh-in or if you're someone that needs to watch your salt, but they are not missing any of the flavor. So this particular one has spices, mustard, dehydrated garlic, and dehydrated onion, and that's it. That is all that is in this seasoning, and it is packed with flavor. This one is outstanding on roasted potatoes. So I'm gonna be adding a little bit of that to my little bag of potatoes. If you're interested in Dax, I do have a 10% off discount code. It will also give you free shipping. It is here on the screen for you and there is a link down in the description box below. But they have about 20 seasonings. I own every one of them and I love them so much. If you're wondering what my top seasonings are, just leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to share those with you. So definitely check out Dax. I cook with it a lot. So if you want to duplicate my recipes, then I would highly recommend picking some of these up. So that's what's going to be on the potatoes. So let's get started with these chicken fajita roll-ups. So the first thing that we need to do is chop our vegetables and our chicken. So we're gonna slice these into pretty thin slices, same with our red onion. And then I'm actually going to cut these chicken breasts in half, butterfly them and make them thin cut. So let's get cutting and then we can start putting these chicken fajita roll-ups together. Remember when you told me you believe in something and you said Pretending that fate is patient Go run away, get it out of your system Come back when you're older So the next step for our chicken is we're gonna grab some parchment paper. We're actually going to put our breast of chicken that we have onto the parchment paper. And then we are going to fold it over and then you're going to use something heavy. So I'm gonna use my rolling pin and we are gonna pound it out until it is thinner. So we want it only about a quarter of an inch thick. So just take a rolling pin, you can use a cast iron skillet. Honestly, you can really use anything heavy and just pound out your chicken to the point that it's thin. Again, about a quarter of an inch. So. That looks pretty good, so see how thin that breast of chicken is. And then we're just gonna peel it off, and we're literally going on repeat. And we're just gonna do that over and over again until all of our pieces of chicken are flattened. So we're gonna put together the seasoning for our meat. So we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of salt. And again, you can do this to your liking. I'm putting it here on a paper plate because I am going to rub the seasoning on all the pieces of my chicken. So I want it kind of all nice and mixed together. I'm also here adding a little bit of black pepper. 
I'm going to add some smoked paprika. The recipe calls for paprika. I just have the smoked paprika. And then I'm going to add cumin, which is quintessential for that Mexican flavor. I'm also going to add some oregano. The recipe calls for Mexican oregano. I don't know what that is, so I'm using regular. And then garlic powder. And then basically, I'm just going to give this kind of a quick mix up. And this is going to go onto our breasts of chicken. So I have my seasoning here and my chicken. So I'm literally just going to take a little bit of this and put it on each piece of my chicken. And I'm just gonna go ahead and rub it in. I'm basically using it as a rub. And I'm gonna use it all between my four little pieces of chicken here. And that's what's really going to season the chicken and make it taste like that fajita that it should be. So I'm excited. It, this seasoning, you guys, smells really, really good. So go ahead and just rub that into your pieces of chicken. And then we'll be ready to add our veggies and roll these up. So for the next step, we're going to take our piece of chicken. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over with the seasoned side on the outside. You're going to take a few strips of your peppers, so three or four of each color, and place those into the breast of chicken. Oh, this is going to be so good. These will get nice and crispy and cooked through when we make the chicken. I'm really excited. So we'll add our peppers and then we're also going to take a couple slices of our red onion and we're going to put that in our chicken. So basically we just made chicken fajitas without the tortillas. We've got that same seasoning. We have our chicken. We have our fajita vegetables. Yum. And then from here we're actually going to take our chicken and this is the tricky part and we're going to roll it up with those pieces of pepper and purple onion inside. Oh, this looks so good. And then once you get it rolled up, you're going to grab a couple of toothpicks and we're just going to secure it close. So I would really push them through like both sides of your roll up. And you can use as many pieces of chicken as you, or I'm sorry, toothpicks as you want because we're just gonna remove them once the roll ups are cooked through. We just wanna make sure they stay closed. So there you go, look at that. So that's the back side with the toothpicks and then there's the front side. These look so good. So we're just gonna set that aside and I'm going to repeat this until all of our roll-ups are done. So here's our fajita chicken, it looks so good. The last step we have to do is just dice those potatoes in half and season them with some Dax and we're ready to put everything into the air fryer. So we're going to get our potatoes ready to go. So I have a bowl here. I'm literally just going to chop my potatoes in half and add them here to my bowl. That will just help speed up the cooking process in the air fryer. Once I get these chopped in half, we will season them with some of that Dax and some nonstick cooking spray. And that's it, you guys. It's pretty easy. The potatoes are super duper easy. It's just getting everything cut up and prepared. And then we're going to line these onto our trays for our air fryer. If you have the basket style of air fryer, you would just lay these in a single layer in the bottom. You may have to do it in two separate cooking sessions, one for the chicken and one for the potatoes. So whatever kind of air fryer you have, you just kind of have to accommodate it to that air fryer. I have the oven style. It is linked in my Amazon store below, so I will actually be able to cook everything at once. So let me get these potatoes just chopped in half, and I'll be back to show you how I'm going to season them, and we'll get everything cooking. So I have my potatoes just cut into half, very simple. I'm going to spray them with some nonstick cooking spray. So I'm gonna spray the top layer, just kind of give it a quick stir. I wanna get the potatoes not coated in the nonstick cooking spray, but I do want a little bit of the nonstick cooking spray on all of the potato pieces, only because that's just what's going to help stick the seasoning to the potatoes. Plus it helps them brown up a bit in the air fryer. So that actually looks really good. And now we're ready to add in our Dax, and you're gonna go ahead and do that to your liking. I like quite a bit of seasoning, so I put probably two tablespoons worth of the Dax Steakhouse in here with my potatoes. Oh, it smells so good. We'll get that mixed together, and then we're ready to get everything onto the trays and into the air fryer. But look, you guys, don't these potatoes look delish? 
So I added my potatoes here to this tray. These are the trays that I have for my air fryer. I'm also, and the other one, going to go ahead and add my pieces of chicken. So we're just gonna lay those out evenly onto the tray. And then my potatoes, I don't feel that we really need to spray those with any additional nonstick cooking spray, but I do wanna spray my chicken only because, again, it just sort of helps it brown up and not stick to the pan. So let's get these into the air fryer. So everything's in the air fryer, potatoes on the top, chicken on the bottom. That way the chicken doesn't drip onto the potatoes. About halfway through, I will be rotating these. I will put the chicken on the top and the potatoes on the bottom. But about halfway through, I want it to be this arrangement. So we're going to shut the door. That's going to turn on our air fryer. I'm going to cook it at 400. I don't know what it is, but I seem to cook everything at 400. And I'm actually going to set this for 25 minutes only because of the chicken and make sure the potatoes are cooked through. There is a light on my air fryer and there you have it, my friends. Everything is cooking away. So I'll be back in 25 minutes. So here is the dinner out of the air fryer. So here's our roasted potatoes with that Dax Steakhouse seasoning. They look delicious. And then these roll-ups look to die for. So there are our chicken fajita roll-ups. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my dinner plated up and I'll be back to show you what I'm having and give you the smart points. So here is my dinner. So I have one of my chicken fajita roll-ups. You guys, these are zero smart points. Isn't that great? You can have this delicious main part of your dinner for zero points. So I have a lot of points left today. So I decided to have five smart points worth of the roasted potatoes. So my dinner is a total of five smart points. For tonight's air fryer dinner, we are making Chinese fake out sweet and sour pork. I cannot wait for this. We're just going to serve this over a little bit of rice. I will probably use basmati. You could do jasmine, brown rice, whatever you prefer. We are going to make a homemade sweet and sour sauce. So I'm gonna show you everything that is in the pork pieces as well as what is in the sauce. You're going to need some soy sauce, ketchup. I'm gonna be using the G. Hughes sugar-free, rice, wine, vinegar. This is also the sugar-free version, salt and pepper, some sort of sweetener alternative. I have some stevia in the raw some pork. I'm just doing these really lean pork chops. I will remove all of the fat. Sesame oil, Chinese five spice, garlic powder, corn starch or potato starch, and some eggs. So let's get started on tonight's air fryer dinner. So the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and trim all of the fat off of our pork and cut these into bite-sized pieces. Go catch the storm within your step is we are going to add one cup of cornstarch or potato starch here to a bowl. To that, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And that's just going to give, you know, just a little extra flavor here to the cornstarch. And then we are also going to add... Let's try that again. We are also going to add in some Chinese five spice. So that my friends is proof that even those of us that cook a lot are not perfect in the kitchen. So go ahead and add some of that in as well. We're gonna give this a stir and then go ahead and grab out a second smaller bowl so we can combine our eggs and our sesame oil. In your smaller bowl, we're gonna go ahead and crack two eggs. And then we are also going to add approximately one teaspoon of sesame oil. And this is just gonna add that real authentic taste to it. So just about a teaspoon of that. We're gonna give this a quick stir together and then we're ready to coat our pork pieces. So now we are ready to get our pork together. We have our cornstarch mix, our egg mix, our pieces of pork, and then I've also sprayed the rack of my air fryer with some nonstick cooking spray. You would do the same thing if you were using the basket style. So basically what we are going to do is go ahead and take a piece of pork. We're going to dip it first in our cornstarch mixture, get it kind of coated, shake off the excess. 
Then we're gonna dip it here in our egg mixture, and then we're gonna put it right back into our cornstarch mixture. And there you have it. And then these little pieces, shake off any excess, are just gonna go directly into your air fryer basket or onto your tray. So I have quite a bit of pork to coat. So I'm gonna get these coated up and then we'll be ready to get these into the air fryer. And while they're cooking, that's when we'll put together our sweet and sour sauce. Super easy to do. So. Let's get this pork done so we can get these into the air fryer. All right, our pork is in the air fryer. Look at how good that looks. Nice and coated with the starch and the egg. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. We want this to about 350 degrees, and we're gonna let this cook for about 15 minutes. I am going to be rotating my shelves as it cooks, just because I wanna get that second shelf up on the top and get it nice and crispy. And while this is cooking, let's put together our sweet and sour sauce. So while our pork is cooking in the air fryer, I apologize, it's right here, so you can hear it kind of working in the background. We're gonna make our sweet and sour sauce. So we are going to add one half of a cup of our sugar substitute. Again, this is the stevia in the raw. I'm also going to add about a tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm not gonna measure, I'm just gonna eyeball that, about a tablespoon worth of that. We're also going to add in some garlic powder. I have one half of a cup of my rice wine vinegar. And that kind of suds that up, look at that. And then we're also going to add in a little bit of salt. And lastly, I have five tablespoons of sugar-free ketchup. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. And then we're gonna give this a stir. And my friends, we have a homemade sweet and sour sauce and it is zero points. So how exciting is that? So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this into the refrigerator. We'll let this kind of sit and it'll thicken a little bit as well while our pork continues to cook. All right, our first batch is out of the air fryer. You can hear the second batch. I just moved it up to the top rack, but look at this pork. Doesn't this look delicious, nice and crispy like the Chinese restaurant? I went ahead and cooked up some jasmine rice and there is our sweet and sour sauce. So I'm gonna get this plated up and I'll be back to show you my dinner and give you the smart points. All right, so here is my dinner. I have one half of a cup of jasmine rice on the bottom of my plate. And to that I added one fourth of the pork and I topped it with the sweet and sour sauce and a little bit of sesame seeds. So this entire dinner, this whole plate of dinner, you guys, six smart points. And I tried the pork, it is delicious. So this is going to be my, oh, I'm sorry, six smart points for the pork and then three smart points for the rice. I almost forgot the rice. So this is actually a nine smart point dinner. Thank you for joining me on another episode in my WW Air Fryer series. That Chinese sweet and sour pork was to die for. And those chicken fajita roll-ups, we loved those. I was thinking after we ate them that they would be really good if you added a little bit of cheese to them before you ate them, but they were outstanding. You didn't need any toppings, no sour cream, guacamole. I mean, they were that good by themselves. We loved both of these recipes so much. I get a lot of questions on my air fryer. It is actually linked down in my Amazon store. My Amazon store is in the description box along with all of the other discounts that I can offer to you on some of my favorite WW products and these two recipes. So definitely check it out. I would love it if you would take a moment and subscribe and hit the bell if you are new here. That way you become part of my YouTube friends and family and that bell will just notify you every time that I upload so you don't miss out. Please give this video a thumbs up. It helps my channel out tremendously and I really appreciate it. And of course, comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of these two recipes and which one is the absolute must try today. And thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.